Hello and welcome to another Draw With Me video and today I decided to draw one of my OCs Alice um, she's a dancer so I decided that why can't she be a pole dancer I did use uh, a reference photo for this I actually do recommend that you use reference po photos for almost every pose unless the ones that you already uh, except the ones that you already learned or something so yeah, she's a pole dancer and I used a reference photo that I didn't include in the video because it might be like some copyright or something on it, so I was like, no, oh, let's just not include it, but it's a little disclaimer, I did use a reference and I don't like including my sketching part in the video uh, just because I feel sort of pressured um, when I know I'm recording and, you know, um, I don't want to screw up even if I could just delete the parts where I regret, like I could just include a part when I'm like, yeah, this is this is the good one, and I could have sketched like ten other ones before that. I forgot to breathe, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, so I started coloring right now. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit with what colors I was supposed to use. I thought I would do like a really um, red theme, but as always, I gravitate to the more purplish colors, uh, which are my favorite colors. I mean, the purple ones. Um, I haven't really... Yeah, I do have another speed paint of Alice. I might have two speed paints of her, actually. And then we're adding some rim light. Rim light is like the best thing ever, because when you're drawing and you want to give your character or whatever you're drawing extra form adding the rim light just makes a huge difference like I kid you not it's just a great way to improve your artwork um, now I'm like adding a little bit of details I guess uh, I did merge my sketch layer to my painting layer so that I could get all the details that I originally wanted and I'm just I think I'm mostly using the water tool here. Sometimes I'm using the brush tool and stuff. But yeah, oh, by the way, this is Paint Il Sai, in case you can't, uh, can't tell. It's like, one of my favorite programs. I basically only use Paint Il Sai and Photoshop. Oh, 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 and I love the feet that I gave her. Like, <laughs> I'm really proud of them. Now, obviously, I did have um, a reference photo for them. Um, but I still feel like they turn out pretty well. Um, I usually, when I draw feet and stuff, I just draw some wibbly wobbles and be like, yeah, this is fine, whatever. But in this one, I really, really tried. Adding some details to her face. The, the reason I sometimes, like, rotate uh, the image is because I wanted to check that everything looked fine. I mean, I'm not used to drawing people upside down, I usually draw them um, not upside down, I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now adding some more. Yeah, now you can really tell that I gravitated towards the purple uh, color. <laughs> I mean, the shadows are pretty red-ish, but then the rim light is blue and then it just sort of turned that color. Now I'm correcting the colors in Photoshop. That's a great way to use Photoshop. Oh, and um, I'm thinking of making a video on how to start digital art, uh, talking a little bit about softwares and hardware so, and whatever you need uh, to make digital art and like my tips and tricks on how to get started without like using all your money. Mm, I'm, I'm using the water tool here too, just to blend everything together. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna definitely touch up the hair a little bit before being finished um, and hopefully the eyes yeah yeah okay good good I did that I was a little worried there like oh didn't I fix that and because her skin is quite yellow using uh, a really light blue looks a lot lot like a really 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 light and that's a great little sheet instead of using pure white which I basically only use for eyes in this image um yeah not now the rim light comes in um 
fixing a bit there. I don't know what happened if it's like uh, the fact that it's really black right now, but I think it's gonna work out. Messing around with the colors a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks good again. Okay. Fixing the hands, the foot, the feet, sorry. I think this is just a little final touch up so that there is nothing weird looking. Yeah, and add a little rim light to her. I like the way that I did her eyelashes for this because you can really see that you you see the the um the top of her lashes and not like the under part of her lashes because of the angle. And I think that gives like a lot of dimension to this image. And I'm basically done now, I think. Yeah, just a little little fix and tricks here and there. Bits and bobs. And there we go! Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I really hope that you like my content and if you have any feedback at all uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm just gonna be super happy that you engaged in my content. Bye!